Hey Leo, welcome to your general love reading for the second half of February 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Leo. And yeah, it's general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course, you can check out one of your other signs if you'd like, or you can book a personal reading. You can find all that information in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, so Leo, let's see what is going on with you, second half of February 2022. For the situation, we have the Ten of Wands crossed by the Fool. Okay, so it feels like, yes, somebody here is really tired. Could be you, could be them. Just really tired of a situation. It just feels like everything is just so heavy. Everything has become burdensome. But the challenge is to actually do something about it and actually take a leap of faith, um, take some kind of action here. Let's see, for your energy, we have the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Okay, well, it definitely feels like you feel like you're, you're tired. Um, I feel like there's been a lot that you've been going through, and so now you're feeling like you're just, like pretty much hanging by, by a string, right? <laughs> um, almost like re ready to break is the way that it's coming in. Um, and it might be revolving around waiting, waiting for a commitment um, from someone here. Let's see for them. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Lovers, and Strength, okay. So Gemini as well as Leo, again, showing up here in their energy. So for some of you, you could be dealing with a Gemini or another Leo, possibly also an Aries, but of course it could be, it could be any sign. All right, so this person is definitely, I feel like they're trying to either research or find practical solutions because this is a connection that they really want with you. They're feeling very, very strongly here about you. For some of them, it could even be that they need to make a choice um, between you and another situation or you and another person. It's going to be different. Either way, I do see this person building up their courage, building up their, their strength here. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the High Priestess. All right, interesting because we just had the exact same potential outcome for Aries. Um, so yeah, this does talk about coming into alignment with one's own higher self, intuition, but still keeping um, quiet about it possibly. So we're going to clarify and get more information here. So let's see. Let's clarify the Ten of Wands with the Fool. of cups, the two of wands, and the lover showing up again. Okay, so Gemini showing up again, second time. Yeah, you know, whatever, whatever is going on here in this situation with this other person, there's a lot of dissatisfaction. There's a lot of disappointment. It's mostly coming in as disappointment, possibly disappointment that things have been taking so long for something to happen. For there to be some kind of a leap of faith, for somebody to take some kind of a risk, um, to just take some kind of action, right? Two of Wands, I mean, that's more waiting here. It's like somebody has been standing still. And because of that, there's a lot of... It's led to disappointment, and I feel like that disappointment is actually on both sides. Not only on the, on the side of the person who is waiting, which I feel is you with that Three of Wands, but also for them. All right, because again... And again, it's coming in as possibly having to make some kind of a decision, some kind of a choice. So this, this person is also at this point where they're feeling exhausted by their own disappointment that they have for themselves. Possibly it's, it's kind of like a disappointment that's happening like over and over again to the point where it's like, okay, like how much more? <laughs> kind of like that. All right, so let's see that Nine of Wands for you. All 
All right, we have strength. So Leo, your energy showing up again. And the Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's like you... I feel like you'd really, like I said, you know, it's like you, you you were hanging from like one final thread and I feel like it's either about to break or you feel like it has broken because I'm seeing that it's taking you a lot of strength and it's probably taking a lot of strength even at the moment for you to try to detach from this. It's like um, you're walking away from this in some way or on some level, maybe not completely, but on some level you're you're trying at least okay with that nine of wands i feel like there's a lot of effort like it's it's not easy for you at all and that's why it's requiring strength but at the same time it is making you stronger and i feel like you are choosing to take the more difficult path um again it does feel like you are still like there is this part of you where i don't want to say exactly that you're waiting for this to come in but it is like in the back of your mind as a possibility for something in the future. I feel like it's more of you being open to this. But you're open to it if it is to come in as a solid solid commitment, basically. So let's clarify that Three of Wands. The Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're still holding on to the possibility of this. And I'm getting that it's okay. It's okay because, you know, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. You can't just force something out of your mind and maybe you're not supposed to. Maybe it's there for a reason. Um, the only message I'm getting here as, as more of like guidance is to, you know, just don't, there's no need to feel any kind of insecurity here about this. Because I do feel like the connection is here. Right. And one thing that might hold you back in any way, regardless of the outcome, all right, in the more distant future, um, the one thing that might hold you back is feeling a sense of insecurity, as in a fear of maybe um, missing out on this or, you know, not having it in the future. Or like, what if I progress, move forward and then I don't really want it anymore? It's kind of like that might even create a fear, almost like you don't want to get to that point. And I'm getting that, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Just trust your own process. Don't, you don't need to fear losing anything. So keeping this in the back of your mind, that's fine. And if you, um, you know, eventually if you're meant to overcome this, I'm getting that you will, because you are taking those steps. But it's okay at the moment, at least for now, to allow the potential to be there as long as it's not weighing you down, okay? Always trust your own intuition. And again, keep in mind this reading is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. So if this isn't you, that's okay. That's just the message that I'm feeling guided to, to share. All right, so let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see that page of pentacles. All right, the seven of cups, the two of cups, and the page of cups. All right, so a lot of cups here, um, which is a lot of water. So some of you might be dealing with a water sign. Um, this person is a little bit confused in terms of how to really go about expressing their emotions. I feel like they are trying to research like the practical aspect of this connection of how they can make something work on at a practical level. But it's like they're coming up with too many scenarios. They're coming up with too many scenarios, which might also, um, that's what's leading to their own confusion, which might cause them to also not express themselves as much. They're definitely feeling a lot of emotions and even the emotions, whatever it is that they're feeling, because I feel like it's, it's going to be really complicated, but it's going to also be different for each of them. Um, these emotions are confusing to them as well. Kind of like not, not having fully understood um, why they're feeling certain things. 
but at the same time also being open to exploring those feelings, all right? Um, one thing that though that is for sure is that they definitely feel a lot of love for this connection with you. But again, it's like there's some confusion concerning how to how to express that. How to, you know, bring their emotions and the practicality of certain things in the situation and make these work together. All right, let's see the lovers. Get to here. We have the Hierophant and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, definitely very strong connection here. Like, um, and I do feel like, you know, you've had quite a bit of a past with this person. I'm also getting that this person um, that you're dealing with here might be influenced a lot by, by societal norms. Um, they've been affected by them or by, by their culture, possibly for some of them. Or just having a very rigid set of beliefs of what is right, what is wrong. Let me get one more here. The nine of wands for them as well yeah and this is something that they've been holding on to for a really long time here and this is part of the reason why they're finding this um such a challenge they haven't given up on this connection though they definitely not having haven't given up on this connection and not only that i'm seeing a huge drive towards it um, but for them, it's also taking effort. Like they need to put up a big fight or put up a big struggle in order to move in this direction. And I'm almost seeing it as them um, moving away, taking some action to move away from what it is that they have been holding on to so rigidly in terms of core beliefs in order to move towards this connection. But it's just something that's proving to be more difficult than what they may have initially thought. Or it's just, it's just very difficult for them. Um, for a lot of them, they could be met by resistance from the outside, like from other people, or even by their own ideas, by their own perceptions, by their own beliefs. But I feel like there is some kind of an external force that is um, serving as a resistance to the action that they are taking away from that, from those set of beliefs. So for a lot of them, that could be also um, about that choice that they're wanting to make, right? That could be the leap of faith, moving away from something that they've been holding on to for a long time, thinking that that was the right thing. So yeah, a lot of exploration concerning this at the moment. Let's see strength. Ace of Wands. The High Priest is showing up again, and the Seven of Wands. There it is, I'm telling you, they're being met by some kind of resistance here. Um, because they're putting up a big fight, is what I'm saying. They're putting up a huge, huge fight here. They're, I feel like they're really finding strength from within that they didn't even know they had. They still might doubt it. They're still doubting it, actually. <clears throat> but they're still moving in that direction. Because they're in this High Priestess energy, so they're... They're following their intuition, basically, and moving <clears throat> towards taking action towards what it is that they truly want. And that's very clear to me that it's this relationship with you. So I can see why. I feel like that's why you might have this in the back of your mind, because I feel like at least on an energetic level, you can feel their energy. And so that's why you're, it's like you're having that window of opportunity kind of open for the future and then that's creating doubts in you <laughs> um, as to whether you're actually moving forward or not or whether you should even um, have that or, or are you waiting or are you not waiting so I can completely understand though why you're in that kind of a um, state so I'm not trying to say that you should just sit around and wait. No, I think that you should be doing what it is that you are doing, right? That Eight of Cups, strength. Um, detaching, moving forward, right? It's, it's not easy. 
but it's interesting because there's there's a lot of mirroring here. You're both being faced with a challenge. And it's like you're both gaining strength to do what your own challenge is, the challenge that is presented to you, to each of you. So yeah, this person is, is fighting hard um, against some, some kind of a resistance here that they're being met with. All right, so let's see the High Priestess. All right, we have the Four of Swords and the Magician. Okay, yeah, so a lot of healing. There's healing here. Um, somebody is moving towards peace, recovering from something, which is actually really, really beautiful because that then comes in the Magician, right? Aries energy showing up again. Um, really bring able, being able to bring something to reality and to actually accomplish goals. So it's like all of this strength, it's like all of these tools that you've been learning and gathering, both for you and the other person, it's like they're being put into use ultimately. So I do see a very positive outcome um, at this point in time for this, although I do feel like there's still, there might still be some distance though um, between you and this person just just for now though because the magician is here so really things are are beginning to happen this is action oriented and it's coming in with a lot of healing so it's actually um yeah really really positive <clears throat> it's just things are still kind of this is kind of like you know what you're doing what you're doing they're doing what they're doing that kind of a thing. But each of you is doing your part successfully and healing during the process as well. So then I do feel like then that that potential, right? It's there. That window is still open for this. All right, Leo. So if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. We have Voyage of the Heart. Love flows through you and to you. This is definitely a huge journey of the heart for the both of you. The love is definitely there. Allow it to just flow. Allow it to things to just, you know, um, play out in the way that that they're playing out. Really. <laughs> All right, Leo. Those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.